Good evening, and we are live from the iconic Governor's Comedy Club in Levittown, right on the iconic Hempstead Turnpike, which is where uh, a lot of us have done some cruising back in the day. Uh, that's why we named the show Cruising the Pike, and I feel like it's not just a local name because I feel like depending on where you're from, everyone has their own version of Hempstead Turnpike, right? The Suffolk yeah. County guys have Deer Park Avenue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, city guys have uh, Franny Lou, Francis Lewis Boulevard. Absolutely. So I feel like depending on where you are in the country or maybe in the world, I think we might have some international viewers today, uh, there is a pike that people would cruise and either you're going to uh, show your car off, check out other cars, maybe do a little racing, um, even though we're not condoning that. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I have two guests with me today. So to my left, uh, first guy sitting right here is Mike Giraldi from Strong Island Stangs. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And uh, we also have Roy George, who is a member of the Strong Island Stangs and is a uh, resident here at Governor's, mm -hmm. uh, not a stranger to Governor's. He also does stand-up comedy. So welcome, Roy. Thank you, Tommy. Thanks not for having us. a member and a client as well. <laughs> yeah, he's not only... <laughs> Thank you. So I'm handing my phone over to Sally so we can share this out. And... You know how to, <coughs> what you need to do that, right? Thank you. So actually, I would like to start off by saying hello to my wife, Giovanna, and to uh, my sons, Dominic and Daniel, my twin boys, they're six, and my daughter, Vanessa, who is 10 years old. Nice. Uh, they actually gave me some advice uh, before the show today. I was a little nervous, and uh, Dominic said, well, you know about cars. You're pretty funny, <laughs> so just be yourself. <laughs> and then uh, Daniel said... No, don't be yourself. You want people to tune in and watch the show again. So uh, take a little bit from both. Right, exactly. So hoping to take a little bit of both. And uh, I got a question. Yeah, yeah. My right. son, my son asked me, "Why like, are you doing this? Are you not doing comedy again? Are you?" <laughs> oh, he's like, I was right. like, he's like are, are you even funny?" I was like, "I, I don't know. Am I?" Yeah. You, you, know, you, you tell me. Yeah, you've right? been on this planet for eight years. You tell me. Did I say anything funny? Yeah. I don't know. Go to your, your, your wife will know about that. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. The first time I did stand up was at Crab Trees in Huntington. Okay. And uh, that actually is <clears throat> going back to the first Monday in January. First mm -hmm. time I, I did oh, stand really? up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's funny because I told my wife, and she was like, okay, well, how did that go? And what did you say? And what did you do? And it's funny, Vanessa, my daughter, uh, I'm fortunate enough to take my kids to school in the morning. And um, I feel like it's. Uh, you know, I'm sitting at the table, they're having breakfast, and Vanessa was actually, I thought, my biggest critic, and she's saying, mm. "All right, funny guy, let's let's hear what you got." It was almost like, "All right, Jerry Seinfeld, let's hear what you got." <laughs> yeah, um, put you on the spot. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so yeah, so <clears throat> let's start off for for a minute. Um, so this is the inaugural show mm -hmm. of uh, Cars and Comedy, Cruising the Pike with Tom Galati. Hope it don't ruin it. <laughs> let's hope not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for all the General Motors people and Mopar people, inaugural means first. So I figured that's, that's right. a good, good way to poke fun at the, uh, the rivalry between all the different car guys. We'll talk about that. Yeah, yep, like exactly. It. And uh, I feel like it's, uh, it's good to start off with, um, you know, talking about Corona. It's the top of mind with everyone right now. Mm -hmm. um, the good news is, um, of course, all my friends said, make sure you wash your hands before and after you get to the studio. But from the moment I got here and I got here, yes. I've been here for about 45 minutes and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the cars that you guys brought outside and sure. the car show that you guys brought outside, which is cool, too. Thank you. Um, all the people working here at Governor's have been walking literally up and down the aisles with Lysol. All I smell is bleach uh, <laughs> in the back area here where we are. It's so comforting. that's a good sign. And uh, the best medicine, I think, is laughter. So if uh, people are people to keep those immune systems high, come on out to Governor's. There's a great headliner tonight, Jessica mm -hmm. Kirsten. And uh, uh, very, very funny girl. And so um, everything here is, is clean. You could come here and just fist bump someone or nod your head and say hello and <laughs> check out some, some good entertainment. Um, and everyone's talking about social distancing now, right? So uh, It's weird. I, it is weird, right? Yeah, you don't know what to do with people. I don't like it. People do the namaste. They do this. Yeah, they do that. Like, right. And Mikey's mm -hmm. a very social guy. So I, as, soon as, I, as soon as I pulled up with my truck, he's hugging and kissing me. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it's an Italian thing, as right. you know. You uh -huh. know and uh, it's just... For me, even if it gets worse, uh, I'll just sanitize right after. Right. Uh, I'm not about the social awkwardness. But listen, hey, if people want to do it, they give me a wave or a fist pump or the elbow, uh, that's totally fine. I won't get insulted. You right. Know, that's the world we're living in now. Yeah. And I hope we get through it sooner the better. I feel like, in my opinion, um, 
I, I agree. I think it's a personal thing. Everyone, some people are like, screw it. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to let it change my life other mm -hmm. than, you know, maybe washing your hands a little bit more. So if nothing else came out of this, mm -hmm. I think the Long Island Railroad cars have gotten wet washed for the you first time ever. So I think that's good. That, we should have been doing <laughs> right? it. And, and why is it such a novelty that everyone's talking about how long you should wash your hands, how much soap or you should use soap? Like, it's, it's like brushing your teeth. What's more disconcerting is the yeah. fact that you have to tell somebody how long to wash their right? hands. Right? Yeah, exactly. When did that become right. a thing? Right. I don't yeah. think people were washing their hands to like full on songs though. Like I know yeah, like, right, right. like yeah. I don't think people were like singing in, yeah. you know <laughs> like, for like a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, maybe we needed a little brush up. That's it, yeah. something. But yeah. It, so it, it, it was like you said, it's something we should have been doing in the past. We gotta look out for each other. Well but, the uh, close your kid school? Yes, mm. actually Monday. So uh, <laughs> I live in Suffolk County. I'm in Northport. My kids are off and my wife teaches in a neighboring district and they Close the school on Monday as well. Yeah, wow. same here. I mean, a half hour. I think two weeks I closed. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, listen, that, that's where a lot of it starts. So these kids all lick each other, poke each other with fingers. <laughs> right. on. They're doing all kinds of stuff. Then right. they bring it home. And, right. and you know, disgusting. They, they, yeah. they have yeah. no concept we, of We yeah. laugh, but it's true. You know, we, we want the best for our kids, and we try to teach them, you know, but they're going to do it regardless. You know, they like to play around and poke around with each other. So hopefully, you know, but I heard the kids aren't as uh, susceptible. To right. And that's actually, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. That's yeah. that's yeah. one of the silver linings as you hear about this or as we continue to learn about it. Mm -hmm. And again, in my opinion from, you know, how, how things, the, the first place where this originated, I hear it's already on the decline. Yes. Um, in, uh, in the, Wu, I keep calling it the Wu-Tang Peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wuhan province. Wuhan province. <laughs> but you are 100% right kidding right. aside. Yeah. And, and that is a good sign. Yeah. Big and time. we know that our healthcare system is, is great here. So I have a feeling it's, it'll get worse, it'll get worse before it gets better. But mm -hmm. then I think, so we're going to spike a little bit soon, maybe within the next week or two. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is all coming from Dr. Galati, of course. <laughs> Thank and, you, then, <laughs> and then I think it's going to start to subside. And that's, that's, that's what I hope, oh, and that's what I wish. Yeah, we all have parents, yeah. man. We got to watch out. You exactly. Know? Absolutely. Grandparents, and it's like it's no what we're concerned about. Yeah. Exactly. It's a good opportunity for me to say hi to my parents, Rich and Kathy <laughs> Galati, and my sister Christine. They're all watching, so uh, thank you for your support too. My mm -hmm. my parents don't listen, man. They're still in India. Oh, really? We told them, like, listen, just get back early. They're gonna start canceling. No, they're not going to cancel. They're not going to cancel. <laughs> I was like, Dad, just get on a plane. Right. right. Get on a plane. He's like, no, it's going to cost too much money. Like, and they took Kuwait Airlines. They indefinitely shut down all flights. Now they're scrambling to get on the flight to come back. Yeah. And they, I mean, listen, they're in the country. They're on a mountain somewhere. Uh -huh. They're pretty distant from general population. So but they don't have the pandemic there? Just curious. No, it's everywhere. So it's worldwide. It's even in India. Yeah, it's everywhere, man. Yeah, it doesn't wide. take much. It's just that, you know, doesn't they're older. They're in their 70s. Yeah. So, you know. That, that's actually yeah. the definition for when it's pandemic. It's, yes. it's when I it's global. I just found that out. Yeah. So, yeah. And Epi I had to look it up. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Epidemic yeah. is uh, local, correct? Right. Yeah. Wow. So this is a, it's a big deal. You know, we all poke fun, but uh, we got to take it serious. No, you're right. You know, like you said, hopefully we'll be out of the woods uh, sooner than later. Yeah, I agree. You know? So with your parents, do they split their time back and forth? Or do they, no, they go my, to visit family? I have one grandparent still there. My mother's mother, my grandmother, my mother's side, refuses to come here. She's like 90-something years old, runs a farm, milks cows, mm. scrapes cow dung, raises chickens. I mean, she's wow, like an ox, man. She's built... Like like a tank. Right? God bless you. Yeah. I think that's what keeps her going. I think that's what keeps her going in life. Sure. It's yeah. something to do every day, but right. she refuses to come here. So we have to go visit her. So she her. hasn't been here at all, not once? No, she came here okay. once or twice. But, but she doesn't she, want to live here. Yeah, she's like, no, you're going to trick me. Like, <laughs> they're going to come and steal her passport. <laughs> right, right. Like, you're not going to let here. her go back. Why right. you put a cow on the plane or something? Yeah, she's chicken in the, what do you call it? The overhead bin? The overhead bin. Yeah, she's definitely like a very strong-minded woman. You're not telling her nothing. Oh, boy. God bless her. All right, so. Creature habit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's talk cars here. So oh, yeah. in the future, so this is Cruising the Pike, Cars and Comedy with Tom Galati. For those of you just tuning in, <laughs> I'm also going to give you our phone number. Uh, we, uh, we have the ability to take phone calls. So if, uh, if you want to talk cars, especially Mustangs, because that's going to be the focus of today's show. Yes, sir. Uh, that number is 516-465-3990. So if you want to call and talk about the jackets that are hanging behind us with the Mustang theme, uh, my you son, want to model the uh, jacket, Roy. <laughs> my son uh, Dominic, uh, I have your model cars here. I promise to put them back in your room when we get back home. Uh, so there's a <laughs> Celine and a '67 GTA Fastback. So in the future, we'll be talking about all types of cars. <clears throat> I love all types of cars, but Mustang have uh, Mustangs have been my favorite uh, since I was a little kid. Good man. Um, so my father was an automotive inspector for the city of New York. Okay. Uh, he worked in the muni municipal building for uh, almost 30 years. 
And so he was on the back end of purchasing, and this will tie in nice to uh, the fact that you guys are both uh, on the job in the city, as they say, Mm -hmm. uh, to uh, proud NYPD guys. Um, So my father was inspecting the police cars, fire trucks, the police motorcycles, anything with an engine that New York City bought. Mm -hmm. Was that fleet service? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, So I grew up, my my father was very handy, you know, with, with cars, and always was fixing our cars yeah. and uh so you know and i feel like that's a lost thing too right i feel like on the weekends 100%. Well, someone someone on your block or in your neighborhood had the hood open and they were tuning up a car mm-hmm. you know changing plugs and you know doing the gaps and, and we then, all flock if somebody brings right? out a wrench on the block you're going to go over there you're going to hang out over his shoulder there's, there's exactly. a, lot of, there's exactly. a lot of there's a lot of young kids not don't know how to change a flat tire yeah, yeah. they'll Just, be stranded on the side of the road crazy. Crazy. roadside yeah. me one of them yeah. Really? Yeah. Thank you for uh, roadside. <laughs> you can't change a flat tire. The the lug nut wrench. I can't. I don't have the uh, the, the, the triceps. Strength. What? You don't yeah. have the what? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't have the uh, the, the hook hooks but to to do it. All right, so just, we're gonna go to Planet <laughs> Fitness after this. Yeah, and we're gonna start Jesus, doing man. some exercise, Mike. All those old gym videos yeah, you put the fundamentals. Up? You know why? Because you're dancing in the gym instead of working out. That's why. That's exactly it. You know me all too well, my friend. <laughs> I see a lot of good. I see pictures of you. You eat keto. You're eating keto. You're working out all the time. I was a keto for a little while, and now they call me Keto Cheeto. And <laughs> no, I'm 100% off the keto altogether. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I lost the yeah. weight and I put half back, so I'm maintaining it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So A little get, off topic. But yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> so getting back to working on cars. So again, my father was, you know, uh, we were out there changing oil and uh, doing the brakes on the cars. And my father would, uh, he always had a knack of quickly, you know, identifying what a problem was on a car, sure. being able to fix it. And uh, I was always very creative, but that was with everything in our house. It was mm-hmm. a microwave. I, we bought a microwave from Sears in Hicksville, which Sears isn't there anymore. <laughs> bought a microwave and a VCR in the same weekend. It was like we instantly became, yeah. you know, joined, yeah. you know, the... Uh, yeah. It's the good thing it's in life. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so we were able to get microwave popcorn and start going to Video Lady in Hicksville oh. before Blockbuster was around. To <laughs> Why start, go out? Right? To like, start watching <laughs> movies. And I remember this very clearly that the... Uh, we'll take this call in a second. Um... The VCR broke, and my father took it apart and fixed it. I'm like, how would you be able to fix a God VCR? Bless him. It was Amazing. like one of the one of the um, uh, bands on there. Yeah, and I remember, I how know. would he be able to open up a VCR and fix it? And, Smart, and man, he did I tell you. It. So, so if you hit the number three, oh, like the actual all. number, no, all the way over there. Oh, okay. Yep. Hi, you're live on Cruising the Pie, Cars and Comedy with Tom Galati. Who's this? Hello, Tom. This is DJ D Love. How is you this guys doing this? DJ D Love. So oh, yeah. you are you my first official caller, DJ D Love. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Thank you. I'm still hanging in there, you know. What about that variety, man? Yeah. Can you raise the volume up a little, Sally? <clears throat> so, uh, or it, mute it's it? It's actually. Um... Oh, is it right there? So, how you doing tonight, buddy? Not bad. Just hanging in there, watching the virus stuff are going away. I hope so soon. But I'm just showing at home. I ain't going nowhere. All right, cool. Well, so for those of you who don't know DJ D Love, uh, he's a friend of Gov's Comedy Radio. He cool. um, he calls into uh, every is it every single one of the yeah that's better thank you yeah mm-hmm. every single show every single show and so I'm I'm glad to now be part of that roster DJ D Love props oh you're you're welcome anytime you know it and, and by the way guys and by the way um, I'm doing my show on August 17th so oh that's right that's right. And you're, so you're going to be a guest on the Knock 'em Dead comedy radio show. Is that correct? No, it's no, no, it's not. No, I'm not going to be the guest. Oh, they're going to be my you're the headliner. Guest. They're going to be your oh, guest. Oh, he's on his own show. Yep. Got Tom, it. is that what they call it's a shameless show. plug, if you will? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so D, uh, DJ D Love, he is a uh, he he does uh, DJ work, obviously, given his name. Um, and he yes, also I does do. some freestyle rapping. Do you want to give us a little freestyle, DJ D Love, before we? Uh... Oh, yeah, I got me. I got me. I actually got I came up with a good song about the coronavirus. Oh, good. Oh, I was just going to ask. Go. Oh, about Corona. I thought you were going to say something about cars. All right. If it's no, about okay, Corona, that's topical about cars too. too. All right. Let's I hear got it. something about cars too. Here How go. fitting. Yeah. Here we go. Yo, my name is DJ D Love. Man. I love Mustangs, man. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just cruising a Mustang, like 1967 Mustang, blue top, baby. Let me tell you something, homie. 67. My name is DJ D Love. I got a nice convertible Mustang, blue, baby. I don't know what I'm doing next, man. I'm just chilling. I'm just bugging. And I ain't going nowhere right now. Because this virus, I'm not catching it. Man, let me tell you something right now. My car is parked in the driveway. Man, I'm just resting right now. My Mustang, 1967 Mustang, is sitting in my driveway right now. Man, I don't know what I'm doing next. Peace, right. Joe. Love right. it. 
Do we, do we have the all applause right. button, Sally? Right. Uh, yeah, I think we have to do our own applause. Right. All right. Thank all you, right. DJ D Love. Thanks, DJ. You're my first Thanks caller. Thanks for the call. Thanks for the support, buddy. Fantastic. So um, that was cool. Yeah, it was and cool. And this is a 67 Mustang that is sitting right in front of me. How <laughs> fitting. Yeah, and that was actually, so I mentioned before, uh, my first car was a 67 Mustang. Uh, it was a GTA Coupe. So, oh, nice. uh, and it's one of those so things, blue, right? Where, I think I saw it on your. Uh, oh, it's, actually, yeah. So that was black with a white vinyl roof. Mm. It had the 289 uh, A barrel, uh, four barrel A code motor. Yeah. So that was the other one was the, was the K code uh, hypo motor. It was 271 mm. horse. Mine was 225 horsepower. Fastback or so it was a coupe, but it was really cool. The two plus two. Yeah. yeah. Hey, can you can you inform me what is the A code and the K code? I, I'm not. So I'm there like were totally th- there were three. We're gonna get a little techie for everyone at home. There were three 289 motors from the factory. Oh, so actually, this is. Do you, you want me to do that? <clears throat> you could put that one up on the screen for a minute. So this was the last Mustang that I had. This is a 2005 Celine Mustang, and uh, oh wait, this actually. Wait, let's take this really quick. Yep. Okay. Hit three again. Here we go. Yep. Hold that thought. <laughs> You're live <laughs> on cruising the pike, cars and comedy with Tom Galati. Who's this? Tom. Yeah. Matt Marillo. What's up, Matt Marillo? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm good, man. Yeah. So cooped up in the house. I see you're brave enough to venture out, huh? Yeah. So <laughs> are you? You're out out in LA. I'm in LA. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Matt Marillo is a longtime friend of mine, and I am crediting him with finally getting me to uh, try stand up. Oh, cool. So Matt. No, that's nice of you. Yeah, no, it's it's the truth. So nice. Matt and I have been uh, really close friends since high school, and um, we. Uh, so Matt ultimately moved out to LA. He's uh, producing some awesome independent films, and he's directed some awesome uh, plays. And uh, everything is always comedic. I think always comedic with with Matt. Even his serious work always has. It's very witty because Matt's a smart guy and 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 uh, writes that way. And so Matt's been doing stand up for what about a year now, Matt? Yeah, a little, little more about that. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. so we were all together having, having a drink at Crab Trees in Huntington uh, mm-hmm. just after the holidays. A bunch of our a bunch of our friends from high school, and we looked up on the up on the wall, and it said "Open Mic this Monday." So I said to Matt, "You should do it, and we should both go up, and we should do it." And Matt awesome. went up; he did a great job. I went up for the first time that night, and uh, so every time that I've been talking about how this all came together and starting to do stand up and uh, having so much fun with it. It's uh, I'll credit you, Matt Marillo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's been fun. I wish I was there to do a little more open mics with you, but for now it is what it is. Definitely. And I'm going to take you up. I'm going to come out to LA uh, and uh, do, do some of the nights that you're working on too. Yeah. That'd be not whenever, whenever all this craziness is, is done. Yep. So it reminds me of the episode of Seinfeld with Kramer when he went to uh, LA. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, he knocked it out of the park, actually. You know, he was born for L.A. La La Land. Do they right. still call it that? Right. Do they still call that, Matt? <laughs> or is that only Yeah, me? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, out here, I'm, I'm in a very specific, I'm in Culver City, very specific, you know, village. Yeah, which is, I really don't like L.A., but I do like Culver City, quite frankly. Nice. And um, here it's a little, life is a little, I think a little more normal than it is in other places of the country, at least for the moment. Can That's I good. ask a question? Of now? course you can. You know, Tom, I'm a big foodie. Mm-hmm. Roy, you know that as well. This body didn't happen by accident. <laughs> so. I need to know. Um, I hear L.A. and California in general are known for the fish tacos. Can you comment on that, sir? Oh, man. Now, you, you're talking like when, when, you know, when people say you can't get like a uh, any pizza like New York pizza, pizza or like bagels. cheese steaks, like Philly cheese steaks, that's sure. the same thing with Mexican food out here. Really? You, you mean like the worst Mexican restaurant out here is better than any any yeah it's wow. it's it's pretty and, the, and there's like taco trucks out here that that have like restaurant quality they food they thrive it's, it's no in joke. the uh, the food trucks I hear yeah interesting yeah there's a food truck called Rubens right up the road from my apartment it's it's unbelievable he's it's salivating fun. look at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, you're, really, you're, really, you're, you're really picturing this food in your head. I can see it. Yeah, like, yeah I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're making me feel useful because I, I, I know Tom will say I know, I know, I don't know a damn thing about cars, so I can't get. Cars. <laughs> we can talk food all day. That works for me. Well, I will say I was with Tom because, like, like he said, we've known each other a very long time. Mm-hmm. I was with Tom the night his car got stolen from Hicksville Railroad Station. Yeah, that's a good. Uh... We went to the Billy Joel concert that night, and we got back to the station, and the car was gone. October oh. of 1993, River of Dreams, uh, wow, River memory. of Dreams tour, Jeez. 
And uh, so long I, ago, we didn't know how, we didn't know how bad that album was. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, Billy. See, I told you he was funny, <laughs> Matt. I'm going to try and get Billy Joel on the show. I don't think you're helping me. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a joke. He's take a joke. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, one of his. I, I dated a girl a couple years ago who hated him. She couldn't stand him, and I would fight with her all the time. Like, but try his pre 1980 stuff, and she didn't want to hear it. Right. Oh boy. How old was so, she? Yeah. <laughs> she, was, she was. She was born in the mid 80s. So yeah. That says a uh, lot. Yeah. yeah. There you go. She was yeah. a mean girl. Yeah. So the that yeah. the bad news was <laughs> actually. So I mentioned my first car was a '67 Mustang. Yes. I started driving this '78 Buick Regal, which was the car that uh, my mom drove mm. it. Then my sister Christine had it. Then I drove it as my first car while I was working on the '67 Mustang with my dad. And uh, come back to the Hicksville train station. And I remember my parents, they said, when you come back from the city, uh, just let us know that you're back in town. And then you could go to the diner with your friends or Fridays or wherever you're going to go to eat. And I think we were planning on going to the diner. Mm -hmm. And I called my father from the payphone before we had our, uh, you know, uh, cell phones. Uh, I think we had beepers at the time. I called my dad and I said, hey, we're home. We're going to go to the diner. I'll be home in about an hour. All right. Sounds good. And then I called my dad about 15 minutes later and I said dad the car's gone problem oh, yeah <laughs> so <laughs> unfortunately I had the car loaded with like car parts and my tools everything was in the trunk oh, no. so it wasn't How so awful. much yeah it wasn't so much the 78 Buick Regal even though it was a cool car and it had a 5.0 motor in it mm -hmm. and stuff oh. like that um, it was just the fact that everything was in there and there was a lesson learned you know it was mm -hmm. don't keep all your shit in the car yeah. pretty much right. um, so so yeah and then uh after that, I ended up getting a, a Firebird, which was cool as a daily driver. Sure. Which so there was a silver lining with that too. Yeah. You would um, lie down in those cars; you wouldn't sit in them. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I remember. I thought you were trying to play a prank on us when we got back. Yeah, I remember. You're like, my car's gone. I'm like, yeah, that's very funny because we used to always, you know, we were young. We try to out prank each other. Yeah, it's very funny, Tom. Let's go eat. That's you know? funny. Yeah, we're all starving, oh, and it's then after one about five ten morning. minutes, it wasn't a joke. Uh, did yeah. they ever recover it or no? Actually, no, yeah, gone. I used chop to, shop. Yeah, I used to drive yeah, that, around. Yeah, that was probably chopped up by the time we discovered it was gone. Probably, yeah, probably in Flushing somewhere by Shea right. Stadium. Right. Flushing, yeah, right, right by Shea Stadium. <laughs> yeah. right. My father, I remember, mm -hmm. he he kept telling me he's like, I don't want to see you driving around Newcastle because like that was oh, right yeah. next to the train station. Yeah, I thought goes. maybe it would have gone right to. Uh, yep. He's like, I don't want you looking for this thing. If it turns up, it turns up, oh, and uh, you could probably still find remnants of it in Willits Point. But <laughs> yeah, probably. You go to City Field, like there's the bumper. Oh, well, probably. <laughs> it's like in a junkyard yeah. somewhere. The air freshener, yeah. vanilla yeah. aroma. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, good thanks boy. for the call, buddy. Yeah, man. All right, listen. Good luck with the show. Good talking, everybody. Everybody, be safe. Thanks, man. Soon, man. Talk to you soon. Be Talk safe. To you soon. All right, bye. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, actually, it's funny that led to, uh, and then I want to. I want to pull up some pictures of your cars and some of the cars that you guys were able to pull outside for an impromptu car show Absolutely. tonight, which was super cool. Thank you. Can I go back to the VCR, how he took it apart? Yes. That sounds yeah. like an amazing person, by he the really, way. He really is. <laughs> and uh, So he, he is... taught you, he instilled, and I got to bring up the point, like my dad too, changing the oil, warming the car up. We had a 77 Maverick in powder blue with a navy blue bottom. It had very low mileage, but it was the ugliest car on the planet, a Maverick. But it was a Ford. Okay, mm -hmm. and, keeping uh, it in the family. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, Pop passed in uh, the end of '97 to lung cancer. But thanks to him, that's why I'm a car guy. We would always go to car shows back in the day. We had an '85 Camaro, believe it or not, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, still an American muscle car. Right, and that's what got me into car shows and the Mustang world. I got to give a shout out to my friend Chris Boss in the Five Towns, Long Island, who got me in the Mustangs after Dad had me into the Camaros. Sorry, Pop. So but, he straightened uh, you out then. Yeah, pretty much. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the right fan. But uh, credit to your dad because that's where we get it from. You agree, Roy? I mean, you know, if it wasn't for them. No, not my dad. You know? No. <laughs> no. Go, goat herding? Your dad or? wasn't a big car guy in India? <laughs> uh, no. Even when he, I mean, listen, he, he liked cars. Yeah. So we, my dad came here, what, in the 70s? Like mm -hmm. 71 he got here. First car was a Caprice Classic. And it's a uh, right. first thing, yeah. expensive car. It's a Cadillac Sedan Deville. Mm -hmm. He took care of them. He, I learned how to take care of them, right? Because of that, exactly. But I think I grew up and I just had some friends that were into cars, and it just it just happened that way. Right. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I'd see the family of close friends, no yeah. question. Yeah, Who's yeah. this, buddy? Who do we right. got here? Let's oh, see. Private, private uh -oh. number. All right, let's see. Oh boy, let's, brace yourself. Your car insurance is probably <laughs> yeah, right. You're on cruising <laughs> the they, bike. They found Who, your car. Who's this? <laughs> Hello. Who's this? Yo, what's up? It's Keith. My oh, fellow. Keith Swan. <laughs> oh, Keith Swan, my Strong Island Stangs fellow <laughs> admin. I don't believe it. That's awesome. How you doing, Keith? He's probably How in the parking lot. How are we doing, lot. guys? Are you outside Pretty right good. 
Fantastic. No, unfortunately not. I'm in the in my house. He has a newborn, so he's probably doing daddy daycare, if you will. Got it. Yeah, so, pretty uh, much. Congr- him around. <laughs> Congratulations on the baby. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. So what kind of car do you have? Good. Or cars? Thanks, buddy. What what kind of cars do you have, Keith? Or well, Keith, car? Keith has something uh, special. I started out with an 85 Mustang back in high school days, Very and nice. now I'm currently driving a 2016 GT350. Nice. That's a big step up. Nice, that is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, moving up from the Fox body. <laughs> yeah, those those uh, four eyes, as you mentioned, Mike, the... Mm-hmm. Uh, Loved them. The four four lights in the front. What was that? 80, 85 that eight? and 86 only. 85 had the carburetor. Yeah, 80, 86 85, 86. Fuel, injection. fuel injection. Yeah, they were a lot of fun. Yeah, no, mine harvests. was carburetor. 80, so he had the 85. 86. Nice. 86 was fuel injected. Yep, but the truck heads, the iconic cars, that's what started it all back in the day. Yeah. Who knew that the Fox body would be so so popular now, right? Oh, my God. It's, They're going through it. Yeah. It's getting more popular yeah. as time 100%. goes on. Yeah, 100%. Well, even recently on, you know, Barrett Jackson, or if you watch Meekum, that, um, you know, the, the 93 Cobras in particular, yeah. right? Just like skyrocketed. Huge, no question. Huge money. And I get a comment on that. It's a love-hate thing with the auctions because right. if you go to buy them, Hello. you know, you're going to pay, right. you know, you're going to pay a lot. Right. But if you go to sell them, you're going to make your money back. So it's like almost like a double-edged sword. Yeah. But it, it's probably a good thing that the uh, some recognition right, uh, for the Mustang so uh, we could get top dollar for them when we do sell. Definitely. The ones that sell really well, but like the really, really weirdly low mileage ones with no the question. sticker on it. like yeah. some. Some unmolested, yeah. unmolested. You know, some, all the man driven. Yeah. All some original. wacko back in 1988 took it and put it in a garage and never looked at it again. Right? Yeah, right, I don't right. know how you could do that. Sipping but. on a glass in Merlot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, you know, wearing his uh, Chevy Chase uh, white uh, loafers from uh, the movie uh, Vacation there. Right. You know, you know, there's a guy out there somewhere with a Thunderbird thinking the same thing. Mike, my car's going to do it. Right, he did the same thing, but it's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you Lo- do, loafers, uh, sandals with socks. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, my favorite, Keith. How did you ever know? <laughs> I got to tell you, though. Only type it, of person will buy a call from. <laughs> <laughs> if you did that these days, I don't recommend it because you could get coronavirus and uh, you won't even live to see the car at your auction. So you might as well live your best life as the situation likes to say from Jersey Shore and enjoy them and drive them like you stole them. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, I, I believe right, you should yep. you should drive the car and enjoy it because if not you're just taking care of it for the next person right no I mean question. unless it's unless it's a huge investment car right um, you know uh, that's a different story yeah, but. absolutely what I recommend is buying a second Mustang and not tell your wife like I did and take a pension loan <laughs> and then get hit on your taxes <laughs> yeah. well she knows now right oh 100 percent cats out of the bag meow. <laughs> 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 But it, it serves a purpose. It keeps the mileage down on the better one, and uh, it's nice to have a daily so you can be in a Mustang uh, 24-7. Yep, that's the way to do it. Absolutely. All right. Hey, Keith, I mean, i, I got to yes. give a shout-out to Keith. You know, I appreciate all his hard work with Strong Island Stangs, which we're going to get into in a little while. This yep. little group uh, grew to almost 2,000 members now, and I couldn't do it without Is it 2,000? Uh, almost 2,000. Yeah. Really? We're in the wow. uh, mid-1800s, and I got uh, my buddy Keith. We went to high school. My brother was uh, good friends with his brother. I got uh, Enzo, I got Paulie, and I got my brother-in-law, Joe D. These are uh, my go-to guys. They're a little upset with me because I did not tell them about this little podcast here <laughs> or the pop-up meet. Yeah, a little pop-up, but it's okay. We a little pop-up that you know, the people want it, and uh, it was a last-minute thing. I literally got home at 9 a.m. from work. You know, I did the midnights in the city, right? and uh, I set it up. I threw you a quick message. I didn't even wait for a reply. And I just made it happen because the weather is so beautiful. So I apologize to my guys for that. But we um, got a nice little turnout we outside. Do, yeah. Mike, to clarify, that's 2,000 cars in Long Island. Uh, most of them are from Long Island. Roy. Most of them, yeah. Some of them moved out of state, but they're still members. We're not going to deny them. Yeah. Uh, but I would say... I, no, I'd be pretty impressive. That's all Long Island. Like that many Mustangs. Yeah, yeah. right. Most of Long them Island actually are up. from Long Island. Right. No, no question, and they're with us. So we're probably the largest Mustang group on Long Island, for that yeah. matter. Definitely you know? on social media. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm big for on sure. social media. I hear that a lot. Um, you know, we like to you know, pump it, but we actually do have a website now. If I could just give it a little... Uh, Please do. That's, uh, yeah, that's why we're here. Plug. It is strongislandstangs.com. We're working on it. I'm looking for a web designer so we can add a few more things to it in colors and patterns. I got a couple guys from the group that are going to help me with that. But um, thanks to uh, 
my friend Mark. We do have a website, but you can catch us on Instagram and Facebook on the Strong Island Stangs. Well, while I ask you, I mean, actually, I do be good. We'll leave Keith on for, for a moment Please. Um, while we're talking about this. I'm still so, here. How did you get started with Strong Island Stangs? Because there is the Mustang Shelby Club of Long Island. Yes. Um, there is the Mustang Club of America, of course, which is the national mm-hmm. organization. But in terms of local... And wanting to do this. What what made you want to start your own club like this? We're probably going to go back, uh, Tom, to probably back 2016. I just started it for the hell of it. You know, had a couple hundred members here and there. Uh, I didn't pump it. I didn't promote it on social media. Um, I've had about... I, geez, Did I, it start I, with just Fox Bodies at one time? Um, I was in another group, which was... Um, Oh, then, then it was okay. Yeah, exactly. Mixing it, up. it was a Fox Body Mustangs of Long Island, and then 80s and 90s muscle cars... And then um, I just decided to run with this because um, I love the Mustang. Uh, it's my passion, you know. It, it's family, my, you know, uh, the, the Mustang world, and then my job and everything else comes in after that. So, uh, long story short, back in 2016, I believe I started it, and then it started to build, and it really got big. Uh, I would say probably at least maybe two to three years ago, growing, especially when we started doing um, car shows at uh, local venues, Mm -hmm. and I noticed a lot of people like to have a bar or a restaurant nearby to partake. They get the wives involved, they get the kids involved. Right. A lot of our members have baby seats in the back seat, which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. uh, Yeah, so it's like a family affair. Yeah. And uh, like I said, uh, with my team, I couldn't have done it without them. Because they helped me out so much, and uh, we're pretty big now, so I'm happy. Uh, we couldn't I'm have sure did it without you, you, Mike. I'm sure you've done Thanks, the like, Robert Moses Thank runs, you. right? You got a heart. Yeah. A lot of it starts Thanks, from now. Pal. Everybody meets up with each other, right. Robert Moses here and there. Absolutely. It's like, oh, you got, what do you have? What do you have? And then we start, start talking, and they start talking about cars, and no this question. guy's a mechanic, and this guy does this, this guy does that. And then it just became a natural thing where yeah. you're meeting all the time right. and doing stuff. And then right. I got to tell you. The, you start uh, exchanging you numbers. Might, and you need someone like Mike here to kind of spearhead and kind of just, really, it's a lot to do. To run with it. It is a lot. You know, it's a lot of logistics, if you will. But, you know, back in the day, like before I had my guys, um, you know, I would be on Fountain Avenue, and uh, the uh, it's funny, a quick story, they would, um, you know, race up and down, you know, all types of muscle cars on Fountain Avenue, we'd all get together, make new friends, and then uh, we had some NYPD come down, and quick. one of them, when they had the powder blue, yeah, uh, right, the, the highway uh, car, yeah, the, 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 the Caprice, highway five out. Yep, right. one of them decided to partake in a race against an IROC Z, so uh, he actually lost the race. Right after the race, you know, everybody's high-fiving him. His captain came. His captain sees him high-fiving everybody. His hat, his eight-point hat is on uh, some girl that he just met. <laughs> and uh, he was in deep shit that night, actually. But I thought it was pretty cool. And back then is when I decided that... Um, I want to do that. I, I want to do that. I want to <laughs> become a cop, and I want to stay with the muscle car world. Right. And then, you know... It's been a while. They've actually put divots on Fountain Avenue, so you can't race. Just for that I don't know reason, what it looks right? like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, but it's been around for a while. They came up with a movie um, about Fountain Avenue. I believe it's called uh, Cruise. Keith, you know the movie I'm talking about? Um, yeah, I don't think it came out yet. Yeah, it's been out it's for been a out? while oh, about know. Fountain Avenue. I think it's called Cruise. Uh, so you might want to check that out. Oh, I'm cool. no way affiliated with them. Right. But it's about, you know, they have Grand Nationals, some Mustangs. There's a lot of group members that actually gave their cars to the production crew that are in that movie. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's called Cruise. If somebody could Google oh, it, cool. you'll, um, you'll see that pop up. Yeah, but, uh, uh, it's, it's a passion, you know, and we need it more now than ever. Uh, with, with and no way do we promote any type of street racing No, whatsoever. right, but and it's funny, in, in all seriousness, um, it's the, all about the Long Island Needs a Drag Strip movement, I'd oh, like yeah, to have yeah. those guys on at some point. Huge. We support them, they support us. We we need it, right? I mean, everyone, yeah, and you, you take all come. those dollars and people go out to either English Town or Thunderbolt, like, you know, people are going and just, you know, taking yeah. their money elsewhere <laughs> when, if... They if have we, no idea the amount of revenue that they'll, they'll bring to this, you know, bring here. Yeah. Kids, jobs, this... That uh, vendors, it'll be huge. You know, professional racers coming here. It, it would I really put that. Long Island on yeah. the map. I mean, <laughs> and that's yeah. what the kids oh, around here. Hundred percent. This is perfect. And then, yeah, before you leave, uh, Keith, we have no um, problem. Sally, uh, my engineer right here, is putting up a few pictures. So thank you, Sally, the, for our logo there. There's the Strong Island Stangs logo. Keith actually helped decide uh, that design that logo. That's the group shot. We also have Malika, formerly a Real Speed. Uh, I believe she's with. Um, Another uh, mechanic uh, location out east, TLC, 
Auto TLC, truck. Give her a little auto. shout out. Yep. So there you got my brother in law, Joe D. You have Keith. You have Enzo. Uh, you have Paulie. And uh, Gary is no longer with the group. He sold his Mustang to buy a Cadillac. I don't know why. So he's out. I don't know what he was <laughs> thinking. It. So that's it. So he's, he's, he's dead. To he's dead here, right? He's, 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 he's no he's longer with us. Bye, Gary. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he left us high and dry, but he's still a friend, if you will. Uh-huh. Yes, uh huh. Yes. Thank yes, you for yes. posting that, Sally. That's oh, great. sure, my pleasure. That's awesome, and that's a logo which actually Keith helped design, and Keith gets uh, these sweatshirts as well. He's a big part of the group. Everybody in my group has their own uh, right, specialty niche, their own yeah. specialty. Uh, so it came, comes together very, very nice. And uh, I think you mentioned earlier they're all outside. We got about, I think, 20 to 25 cars in the lot that that's showed great. up tonight. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it was a nice little there. turnout. Yeah, that's really. It's okay, buddy. Actually, Sally just posted up some cars. You got my uh, 91 Notch there. You got Roy's beautiful convertible Fox body. You got a Boss. You got a Shelby. Out there, uh, the one next to the Shelby is a uh, special edition Mustang. Mm -hmm. um, that is the top of the line. I can't <laughs> see the picture too well, but that, I, I believe that car sticker is probably around sixty to seventy grand. So I'm happy. It's you crazy, showed up. right? Yeah. How how far how fast they went up as the MSRPs? Right. It's, it's crazy. Absolutely, and they're all uh, <laughs> group members. They love us and they like to show up. You know, the social gathering yeah. is, uh, is huge. But even it's funny with the GTR, you know, pushing you know six figures and or the GT500 pushing yeah. six figures. You know, especially with some dealer markup. Absolutely, it's still it's crazy though the performance you can get across the line, whether Bang it's a Mustang, buck. Camaro, yeah. Corvette. Mm -hmm. Basically, for forty five mm -hmm. grand, right. Yeah. right? You can get four hundred and fifty horsepower minimum. Absolutely, and for some of them, you can you know. You can you can put up some really crazy numbers for even just going up a little bit more. Absolutely, yeah. that was a uh, super snake, by the way, out there. The orange. Oh right, right. That one. was nice. That was sharp. yeah. I apologize, I can't remember the member's name, yeah. but um, you know, he showed up with his wife. He's going to enjoy the show tonight. Get a bite to eat. Get a drink at the bar. So it's nice to uh, to come out and uh, live your best life. Right. Well, Cause that's some comedy, baby. That's the one thing that I've noticed too with with your club, right? So you're you're rolling in somewhere. You're rolling in at least 20, 30 cars deep when you have a show. Sometimes it's fifty or more. That's actually just on a meet, Tom. Uh, this our was shows, like a pop up, right? Yeah, we usually get north of a hundred cars. Um, but at the pop oh yeah, meets, yeah, it's uh, a nice turnout, right. especially yeah, on good spots. Absolutely, they flock, um, and they uh, you know we listen to all their feedback. What they have to say. Well, we got people coming out from Wading River, oh, all yeah. the way out from uh, out east, Queens, or well, Queens, out east, what have you, and um, they just uh, enjoy the get-togethers, hanging out. And the group, uh, what's great about the group is, unlike these little rice burners, the Honda Civics that sound like weed whackers. I feel like my landscaper <laughs> just showed up on my property when one goes by. Um, <laughs> they, <laughs> it's all uh, cops, firemen, uh, iron workers, blue collar guys, and the group. Uh, you know, we're all older, and uh, we just appreciate the group. We like to go out there and have fun. And like I said, they invite their wives and the kids to get involved. So it's definitely a nice little social gathering. That's awesome. I want a Japanese car. I mean, I'll admit it. Yeah. Do you? I had an Acura Integra. I, I enjoyed that car a lot. I did. Right. I did, too. I had a 94. <laughs> like uh, Good on, Gary. Sorry, my baby. He's going to kick me out. You're out. <laughs> you and Gary, get the, get the hell out. You're dead, the you're dead to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hit Hempstead Turnpike. The Wanto Parkway is right there. Get, get out of here. <laughs> so, uh, well, thank you so much for the call, Keith. Nice shot right there. Yeah, no problem, screen. guys. Take care. Have a I good night. See you around. All right, guys. Thanks right. for calling in, buddy. Go wash your hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, are your hands clean? <laughs> Always, especially for you, pal. They're in his inside. Right. They're in his pocket right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I don't know what he's doing in there, but don't worry. Yeah, you gotta wash that. <laughs> So we have, <laughs> so we have Sally putting up. So this is in Roy's garage. I don't know. Can you see that yeah, from there, Roy? I can see, yeah. Cool. Um, so that's also that's a Camaro that you don't own anymore. Is no, that right? no, I had to get rid of it. Oh, you know, fine. sixty-seven. Family, family uh, necessities. <clears throat> so, but I pay, when I paid that car, I paid off our family truck, and then, then I ended up getting the uh, Fox Body later for my fortieth birthday because my first car was a eighty-seven hatch. Uh -huh. So my wife's like, what do you want for your 40th birthday? You want a watch? You want this? You want that? I was like, you know, what a convertible. And she's like, I can't afford it. I was like, I promise you, just give me a green light. I won't go over 10 grand. Right, right. And then I sourced it. I found it. It took a while to find a clean one that mm -hmm. wasn't like, you know, somebody fiddled with it. It was, it was in rough shape, but right. brought it back. And then it was still pretty easy to get. It's pretty attainable, the Fox Buddy Mustang. Yeah. You know, the, and if, you, if you're willing to work on it. Right. That car didn't look like. No, this no, when you no not it. at all. Yeah, Roy is very talented. That's you can see great, the pictures That's a great there. picture. That's really nice. Good Lord. Nice. It's nice. very uh, unique. And uh, I was talking earlier about the uh, the baby seats in the back, Roy. <laughs> yeah, Yo, I used to go on the show right. with yeah. my kids because my yeah. son's really into cars now. He's always drawing and always like, doing kid. stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah. 
My daughter actually met him at the American I used to car autocross show. that. Uh, I, I, I miss autocrossing. Awesome. It was fun. That so you had cool. the 67 set up for autocross. Yeah, That's it was cool. it was a fun car. It's a, it was a lot of work to autocross. I'm, I'm going to the Porsche events, uh, the That's PCA right, guys right. in Long Island sure. and the FCCA guys in Long Island, all great guys. Wow. And then they, the, the Tobey Beach location. And uh, it was a lot of fun, but, man, it was like driving a bus right. through the cones, but... It was, it was a lot of fun. You right. break something every time. Yes. Right. That's the only reason I haven't done it in a while. If you want to uh, pay, you got to pay. How's it go? Uh, if you yeah, want to play, play, you got to pay. Yeah. You got to pay to play, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this. I think I know who this mm, is. This is Galati. Yep, let's see. Any relation? I don't know. You're live on Cruising the Pike. <laughs> Who's this? This is Christine Galati. Hey, Christine Galati. How are you? I'm great. So uh, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about Corvettes? <laughs> Very funny. Do you forget what my second car was? Uh, so, Christine. Yeah, let's start with who she is. Yeah, so this is my sister, Christine. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, so she had an 88 Mustang GT. Nice. Love it. That uh, I bought from her after she drove it. But um, that was a, it was a cool car that she, uh, she, she took good care of that car. And we put the five-star pony rims on it. It had the slotted, the fin-style yeah. GT rims oh, yeah. that were a pain in the ass to, uh, to keep clean. Uh-huh. I know a lot of guys back in the day would uh, put the discs on the back to try and keep the brake dust from making yeah, those, that. you know, look real bad. But those didn't yeah. always look great. And no, not the really. Heat, they would heat up. And say, they would heat right? up your brakes more than anything else. It's like the bumper guards. They look yeah. like <laughs> shit. They leave them on 24-7. Yep. It's not the point. Hey, cabbies love those in New York City. Oh, dude, yeah. It's like a fashion <laughs> statement, bro. <laughs> you, have you seen them? They, like, they yeah. drape their car in it. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> bumper buddy. Some of them have like horns sticking out the back. Like, yeah. What the hell is that? It looks better with the scratches. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's worth mentioning that. So I mentioned learning a lot from my father mm-hmm. because he was always tinkering on cars and uh, we would always, always ask him questions and, and learn from him. But my sister actually has a degree in automotive engineering oh, from cool. Farmingdale. Very nice. So she would be out there changing her own oil and doing brakes on her cars with my dad, oh, just, I just like I was. So Get your uh, hands dirty. Yeah. And yeah. so mm-hmm. Christine was just like uh, Marissa Tomei from, uh, from <laughs> yep. my cousin Vinny. Oh, yeah. oh, that was my Tomei. nickname. Right. Oh, wow. So, it was uh, either that or Miss Goodwrench. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Does she she look anything like Marissa Tomei? Um, uh, I believe we met Mike. Oh, uh, oh, and I do think tell. At, at the Michael Magro uh, yeah. car shows. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, Christine my memory always, always rolls up, and you've you've been there supporting with uh, the the yeah. Stangs. Fantastic. Yeah, so well, like my uh, <laughs> my first car was that '78 Buick that got stolen. Yeah. <laughs> so I mentioned my mom had it had it for a little while before yeah. she got the, a Camry. Uh, and Regal? then yeah, the Buick I Regal. had yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, my '88 uh, Mustang GT was my second car, the first car that I bought myself. What mm-hmm. color? White with the red. Oh, yeah, had the oh red, crime red interior. scene, red interior. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite. But that was pretty hot back then. I mean, white with red, I'm sorry, it sounds tacky. No, but it pops no, a little it, bit, it, but that's a it, lot of red in there. Yeah. I know. Oh my God. It was pretty it was cool, a, though. Yeah. Yeah. Comf- but most comfy. of the time, you know, you talk about cruising the pike. I cruised Hempstead Turnpike in that car. I mean, if my mom's listening, I'm sorry, but, you know. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> cool well, it depends what you, what you were doing out on the pike. Hey, part. I was just cruising. But I have to tell you, guys <laughs> didn't expect a, a girl to be driving a GT. So right. My wife, I would put my wife behind the wheel to race all the time. And a little shout out to my wife, Lisa, yeah. is out there. She's actually watching along with the rest of my family and the members. But uh, uh, we had a limo tint on one of my Mustangs. I think it was uh, the triple white convertible, 91. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would, it was an automatic, mm-hmm. shame on me, but I right. would man, manually shift L1, L2. Yep. And uh, there goes my, my current 88 saline convertible. The sharp, yeah. sharp, sharp car. Yeah, thank you very much. And my wife would take a lot of uh, guys on Sunrise Highway and they'd roll down the window and see her driving and, and uh, freak out. Yeah. It was pretty cool. But uh, unfortunately, I have all my cars now are five speeds. I can't do the uh, slow matic, if you will. <laughs> yeah. You know? But, uh, yeah, tell, so tell, I drove that. Yeah, yeah that's pretty uh, cool. GT for a while, and I realized, you know what, I probably should grow up a little bit because I would take it off the road for the winter since it couldn't, you know, do anything. Right. Not practical. And uh, I had a Chevy Blazer, and then I figured, let me grow up. So I got a truck, and then my mm. brother bought the GT from me. Yep. I Keep it in that. the family. Yep. Yep. Mm. I was driving that to uh, SUNY Old Westbury. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Is that a hard so, top? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. With, the, with the uh, had a sunroof. Yeah, it oh. wasn't the t-tops. Factory factory weighed like hundred yeah, pounds. Factory roof. Weighed hundred yeah. pounds. Yeah. Opened yeah. up a half an inch. <laughs> right, yep. right. Yep. It's like, what's <laughs> right. the point? <laughs> right. Horrible design. Or you could take it out, and it took about forty-five minutes to put <laughs> yeah, it in and out in the right way, or bag. put it somewhere. Right. Yeah. You yeah. go to the exactly. car wash. You'd have like a, it was like yeah. a green forest. Yeah. Rain, oh, oh. Horrible. That 
they're not the best design cars, but they're a lot of fun. They're, they're a lot of fun. That was symbol- I miss that car a lot. I bet you do. Well, the whole thing with that too was those cars were so light, right? I mean, they were two hundred and twenty-five yeah. horsepower. Yes, but they were so that light. That was a lot back then. It was, Tom, but uh, being a if car it guy, rained, right? forget it. Yeah. If it rained, oh, I mean, I fish like it was a death like, wish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which car? Yeah. The GT. The, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, dude, that's the only car I had. Remember the Blizzard Scary. in '96? Mm-hmm. I drove around in that like an Oof. idiot. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, I know. What am I going to do? Right, it's the only right, car right. I had. It's the only car <laughs> you had. <laughs> so you do what you got to do. You put some good tires on it. and Just kind of just you learn how to slide. Yeah. Dad's bricks in the back. Yeah. But the key to those cars, getting back a little technical, was the 300 pounds of torque. Yeah. yeah, and that is what put your right. head they, back. They That's how you get right the off the line, right? Absolutely, yeah. um, and they, you know, I think the uh, I don't know if it was Motor Trend uh, TV mm-hmm. back in the day when they would uh, review them with the IROCs mm-hmm. and the Grand Nationals. The Mustang always came out on top. Uh, fun factor yep. is what I like to call it with those cars. Well, speaking of IROCs and cruising the pike, I feel like that had it was either Italian retard out cruising. Yeah. <laughs> what was the other nickname for that? Or Irique of Cologne. Yeah. I, that's, I never heard of that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first one, obviously. <laughs> and uh, Mustang was Guido Transportation. Yeah. Oh, that was the Mustang yeah. GT uh, back GTA. in the day. Right? Well, I either was yes. about to buy a Monte SS. Uh, I have a lot of respect. A GT, for those, I right? love Monty. Those are cool cars. Yeah, but they, they were either wanted too much too. money for them, or they were garbage. Yeah, and, the black um, with the red with the now that red yeah. interior I like because that was like the cranberry. It was more of a cranberry yeah, deep red. red. Yeah, that was pretty cool. A very comfy yeah. car. Not the yeah. fastest thing in the world, but right. you cruise, man. No, you they were right. they were the they were cool cars. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But it's funny but, you don't um, you don't see a lot of those cars left because all the Guidos wrapped them around trees and pretty much, pretty much. I think the hands got so slippery from the the sandwiches that they would eat on the steering wheel. And right. the shifter, or all, like the, armor all the Dracar Noir that you would right. put on, oh, I think, also. I'm actually yeah. wearing well. that right now. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Where'd you <laughs> find it? <laughs> it's anti corona. They smell it, they, they, they find a way. Well, <laughs> I, I just a, wanted to somebody on Amazon face. somewhere. Like, in, yeah, no, I actually found it right at in, <laughs> in like Czechoslovakia, who's still rocking Dracar Noir. You had it like <laughs> <laughs> Czechoslovakia. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for the call, Christine. You're welcome. Even though I drive a Corvette now, I still had to call in on your first show. Wish you luck. Still an American muscle car. Good for you. Hey, it's awesome. 400 horsepower, baby. Whoa. Thank Can't wait to see her again at the next show. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to do the, the Michael Magro show yes, again? Yes, definitely. Yeah. We'll, we'll be talking right. about that, too. That's Good August luck. 24th. Awesome. Thanks, I'll Christine. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye, Christine. Bye. Bye. Um, we cool. might get one more call. Um, I keep getting FaceTime from uh, my daughter. Oh, so uh, wanna... I had about 45 missed FaceTimes for her. So, Vanessa. You if you want to throw on. Vanessa, your show. if you want to. Uh, I don't know the FaceTime would work out well. So, Vanessa, if, uh, <laughs> if you uh, want to, you can call now. Okay? So, you should just text me pretty, please. Oh, Sorry, <laughs> while we're waiting now for you her. Have to, pal. So, Roy, I want to talk a little <laughs> bit about um, your stand up comedy. Yeah. So, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, five years now. Really? Yeah, it's, it's 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 funny. You you go through a lot of uh, things with that. Like it's something I always wanted to do my whole life. You know, you know what I mean. Like, I listened to comedy as a kid. I listened to Eddie Murphy, mm-hmm. uh, Delirious, Raw, but nobody nobody knew about. It. You know, like right. my parents would have known. I had to listen to a cassette right. with my uncle's Walkman somewhere in the basement. Uh, yeah, Bill Cosby. For Raw. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah. All yeah. the cursing and everything, and <laughs> keep that low. Uh, oh, a bl- a Bill Cosby only because I could watch that in front of my parents right. when I was younger. Yeah. Remember uh, Friday night. Uh, it had comic strip live. Yes, I, I used, used to, to watch that. I used to watch that with my parents. What channel they would let was me stay up on? late. Maybe it was Channel Five. Yeah, yeah. It was oh, like yeah, comic right. strip I used to live. Tape yeah, yeah. All of them, and, right. then, and I think yeah. it was it would it would air from the uh, uh, on the strip out yeah. out in uh, out in out in L A. Yeah, and that came on right before soft porn, and then the TV was it would go black. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I right, okay. not watching, that I know. So somebody told me about that. I don't know. But but going from there, like it's something I always wanted to do, but it wasn't like an option. I'm first generation here, Indian. It's good to see a lot of Indian comics now going yeah. out and like, their their parents actually supporting them. But for me, it was like, which medical school or engineering school are you going right, to? Right, right. Uh, the truth is none because I was an idiot. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did not. So hard on yourself. I did not apply myself them, right? at all. Idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was right. a, a giant idiot. Um, giant idiot. But yeah, but, giant. <laughs> but I don't know. The, finally, I t- was like 38. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So it's. Screw it, I'll, I'll try it. I knew, I knew a couple of guys that did comedy, kind of mm-hmm. like your situation, and I went to open mics with them, and I just wanted to check it out. I just wanted to check out the scene, see what's even about. It was, the whole thing was like a, a mystery to me. So right. they, when I got there, they threw me on stage, like just baptism by fire kind of thing. And right. Old turkey. Yeah, and I got some laughs, and they're like, listen, if you get these idiots to laugh at an open mic, you got something. Right, right. You got something. From there, I did a bunch of other ones, and then finally I, I ended up coming here to Governor's, and I took the uh, the, the comedy college with uh, John Trusen. John Trusen, right. 
helped me out a lot, and then I ended up doing the uh, the Long Island Laugh Off, and then since then this place has, has been nothing but family to me. Like like, like James and everybody right. here at uh, Trucin has always been super nice, and then, not to mention all the comics, you know. Yeah, I get that vibe. How it's like it's comics, like, really, it, no, really, yeah. it is a networking thing. Yeah. Like a lot of comics, you, you know, you get along and. They, Do you they interrupt, out. Not to interrupt yeah. with brokerage. Is it like you guys? Yeah. Interact well, those same. Yeah. Same. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take this as our last call. Okay. I Move it right along. Know who this is? Yep. What's oh, another Galati? This is another <laughs> Galati. You're live on Cruising the Pike, Cars and Comedy with Tom Galati. Who's this? Vanessa. This is Vanessa Galati. Hello, Vanessa Galati. How she are you? Young. Good. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Uh, how I love my daddy. You love your daddy. Oh, so sweet. Aww. I swear I didn't put her up to that. I was actually not even picking up the phone before because I didn't think it would work well with my phone. But thank you for calling, sweetie. Are you being good? Yeah. Did you have your Taco Bell? Yeah. So she, she wanted, yeah, no, she, uh, of course you are. earlier today, she, she wanted, she wanted a treat and she said, can we get Taco Bell, please? Oh, man. So uh, we good made man. the mistake of bringing home Taco Bell once and she's just like, she, she loves all that stuff. My kids too. And my wife will roll her eyes and be like, do we really have to get Taco Bell again? <laughs> so, uh, so you had your Taco Bell? Yeah. What are the boys doing? Uh, they're watching it. Are you, uh, you watching it on TV? Yeah. Yeah, my two friends are here. Who are your two friends? Uh, Brielle and Sienna. Oh, say hello to them. Or hello, Brielle and Sienna. Hello. Um, <laughs> can you put the boys on for a minute? Yeah. Hello? Who's this, Daniel? Yeah. What's up, Dad, buddy? How are you not calling? Wait, how am I not calling? Yeah. Uh, You're on the TV and I can't. Oh, I'll explain to you later, but there's a delay. <laughs> oh, yeah, so now they're hearing it on TV. It's so one minute delay, right? <laughs> are you having fun? <laughs> are you being good? Yeah. All right, can you put Dominic on for a minute, and then we're going and then we're going to wrap up the show. What's up, Dominic? How are you? Good. What's your favorite car, Dominic? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Mustang. Oh, yeah. man. Awesome. And what's your favorite TV show with a black car? What? Black car, a talking car with the red light in the front. What's your favorite TV show for cars? Kit. Awesome. Kit, Knight Rider. I love this kid. He's awesome. Yeah, he. Uh, both of my boys like cars, but Dominic's always talking about cars. I'm going to do a segment where yeah. I think it would be great if we had a comedian who doesn't know a lot about cars, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put him head-to-head -head with Dominic to see who can identify more cars <laughs> up on the screen. <laughs> between, him and, between him and Daniel, they spot, Dad, look at that Mustang. Dad, look at that blue Mustang. That's Dad, funny. is that a Shelby Mustang? That's when it starts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty so cool. They're, they're my car guys. I'm more impressed you found these shows, like Knight Rider and stuff. Where are you yeah. finding them? Oh, hey! Show, hey. Showtime and uh, so they they run in they run in reruns. Yeah, Chris, uh, yeah. Also on the uh, the certain apps you can watch them. Right, right. As well, uh, like, it's too bad Netflix you can't catch them. But yeah, they're out there. You can catch yeah. them on YouTube. I think if you yeah, play. my son has the Forza game mm -hmm. on yeah. Xbox. Right. So I made an 18 van for him. Oh, that's like, cool. Like sat there and, and made the whole decals. Got it all B. done. Yeah. He's like, "This that's is the 18 awesome. van." He goes, "What's the 18 van?" Like, Damn. <laughs> right. and I, I tried right. to find the show for him. Yeah. I couldn't. Great couldn't find show, it. Yeah. And my younger cousin, same thing. The Dukes of Hazard. I was oh. like, oh, I saw that with the. Uh, no, not the one with Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. The original. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, original. Right, right. The, and they're they're like, what? There's yeah. an original? Yeah. I'm like, they had no, they had no clue. All right, so, let me say goodbye to oh, them. Sorry. Yeah. Are you, I'm sorry. I'm hanging up, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Be good. <laughs> Don't drive mom crazy. All right, oh, that's, okay, it. that's it. <laughs> so, what do I hit for no? Interest. What do I hit for no more calls so we can wrap it up in six minutes? Yeah, six minutes, I was uh, yeah, hit that button if you. If which, you which one now? The, the bottom. Bottom. This one. Nope, the one in the middle. This one. Yep. Okay. Man, six minutes later. And I, I've, I've got a couple. Are you worried about an hour? I was uh, over time. I was call sure your agent. The whole thing. You're all worried. Like, oh, you. It was like an hour. I think we shame. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's the other picture from inside your garage with oh, your yeah. pimped out. Jonah, put that's my son, Jeff. Uh, this screen isn't loaded yet. It's just the holding oh, thing. So it. if you don't like a oh, certain okay. picture, I could put something else up. Got you know it. what I mean? And then I'll just do that. Or yeah, we got it for Christmas for him. Like, um, uh, my that's really you cool. You want me to put that up? Yeah, put that up. Yeah, we souped it up, too. We, uh, it looks like you got some, the power wheels, some rims you, you, on you, there. No, you put another battery on, and you, you jump the battery a little more. 12-volt uh, to 24-volt. Really? Thing holds. 
Okay, I, I, my kids, kids are watching. Are yeah, come on. Yeah, it, it moves. <laughs> it's, it's, on, it's on grass. It, yeah. it, 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 kids are flying. Yeah, that's really cool. Doing donuts in the driveway. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. A lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. I get it. I want that. It, <laughs> you YouTube it. You can YouTube it. Right. It comes right. There's a Very bunch of wild. different ways to do it. Then the I think cool. I think we got them all except for like maybe this one. That's doing the autocross. Yeah, right? the autocross. Um, can you cool. put up the personal touch logo? I want to make sure we cover that before uh, before we sign up. Absolutely. So and I've had it in the corner all the time, but just if you want to. That's great. So do that. Personal How's touch. That? Thank you. Personal Where is touch, uh, personal Watch. touch, buddy? I'm glad you asked, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> they have two convenient locations. <laughs> You're quite welcome. So, uh, do tell. so the one that I always go to that's right near my house is their location uh, in Elwood. It's on Jericho Turnpike, just east of Route 231, Deer Park Avenue. What's oh, that's near me. Uh, it's Elwood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. You're at you're Dix Hills, right? Yeah, yeah I'm right yeah. off uh, yeah, 231. So they're right by Bagel Boss, uh, right across the street from the Elwood Cinema. Okay. Right? Cool. So they're on the north so side just, there. So just east of 231 on 25? Yes. Okay. Right? Is it so, a uh, touchless car wash? It is. Oh. And so here, here's what, let me, let me tell you why they're so great. <laughs> All right? I can't wait. So... Uh, <laughs> Elwood Road, so 19, 1977 East Jericho Turnpike. Uh, they also have another location in Bohemia. So that's uh, 1261 Lakeland Avenue in Bohemia. Um, what, I like them, uh, what I like about them is you can trust them with all your cars. Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, it's growing up, we, we never went to the car wash. My father, we, we would always wash our own cars, sure. and that was it. Um, as I got older, you know, I started, you know, sake of time. You don't always have time to wash your car. But I would still always wash my older cars myself. I had a 68 mm-hmm. uh, not too long ago before that, that um, Celine that, that Sally put up before. Mm-hmm. And I would always just wash that myself and just say, well, that's it. And then you start to see all types of Ferraris and Lamborghinis at personal touch. And, you know, yeah. and I'm thinking like, well, if they can trust them with their car. <laughs> so I had a car show coming up. And actually, Sally, can you put up that other picture for a second? The red one that you had up before, just to the right of me. Uh, in the car? Yes, yeah. Do they have a track or do they have a conveyor belt type system? Yeah, um, it's question. a track. Like a metal track? Yes. Um, and so this was my car right after they detailed it. And right. actually, so it's Paul and Mark over there. So if you go there, ask for Paul and Mark. Nicest guys in the world. Um, they did that detail on my car. And I told them, I said, it looks like it's wet, you know, when you get a yeah, really yeah, nice yeah. nice shine, a mm-hmm. nice coat of uh, wax on it. Sure. Um, they're also, not only do they do a great job there, but they're just super nice and super generous people. Nice. They do a lot of things yeah. in the community. They're a, a longtime supporter of the Michael Magro Foundation, mm-hmm. for which I'm, I'm a part of. You know that, Mike? Awesome. Um, yes, sir. They have some great promotions, too, that I wanted to call out. So they have monthly plans for twenty two ninety five a month where you can literally go every day. Cheap. You can go twice a day. So if you drive through a puddle, wow. you can go back and, and put your car through again. So twenty two ninety five a month. They also have a promotion now, too. Buy five months, get one free. So for okay. half the year, it works out to be like 112 bucks or something like that. Oh, wow. And you could go there as often as you'd like and uh, you know keep your car looking, looking good because sure. – According to personal tar- personal touch car wash, a dirty car is a dirty shame. <laughs> so they're my first yeah. sponsor, and I'm so grateful for uh, for Paul and Mark there nice. for supporting the show. So Very thank you both, cool. and please bring your cars there, support them, and tell them you saw them on the show. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. Can I give a quick shout out to our sponsor mechanic? Please do. Uh, that would be Mustang Magic out on I believe it's 160 Brook Avenue in Deer Park. That's our group sponsor. We call him Skinny Joe. And uh, anything from a Fox body up to a 2020, uh, they do phenomenal work. And uh, we have a partnership with them where if you're a new customer, you'll get a free uh, royal purple oil change filter and lube valued at $90. Wow, so you want to take advantage of that. And they really know their stuff over there. Dino tunes, um, bolt-ons, routine maintenance. That's our go-to shop, Mustang Magic out in Deer Park. That's great. So, yeah, this was my first show, and just as you were saying, Mike, it went super fast. It sure did. I'm saying. No, thanks uh, for having us. I really appreciate, appreciate you, no, you. Uh, both coming on the show. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome. I'd like to do it again if we can. Definitely. definitely. How about next week? <laughs> <laughs> so our next, our next show is March uh, 28th, um, so be on the lookout for everyone who's following my page on uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, Cruising the Pike. Just look for me on uh, on either of those social platforms, and so you'll, you'll find out when all the shows are. But I'm doing this every other Saturday. 5.30 to 6.30. Um, we're actually right across from the green room, so I'm hoping we can get some of the comics that are uh, signed up to play here in the future cool. uh, to stop in as guests and talk about cars and comedy. So thank you both for being such awesome guests. Thank you, Sally, for an awesome show. My thank pleasure. Thank you to all of my friends and family. I've been getting texts, and yeah. I've been texting people all day uh, offering their support. And so uh, I love you all, and uh, I really appreciate all the support. So thank you, everyone. Awesome. 